Let's take a quick look at this Anchor Solix F1500. So this is actually an all new model. You know, it looks a lot like the 757, right? Which they actually call the F1200. So this is the F1500, but it's the same case, right? In fact, they even say it right here. They even say it right on their website, unchanged size, right? So the thing is this, this new version, this F1500, it actually gets a lot of improvements. Like the specs here, they're a lot different, like, like a lot different. It's not just more battery capacity, like we saw with the Blue Eddy AC180, right? We took a look at that and we took a look at the new AC180P, right? Basically, it looks like these companies are getting their hands on some new next generation LFP cells, right? That have higher energy density, um, but they're still LFP, right? They're still LFP, so you're still going to get all the, the cycles, the, the safety rating. You're still going to get all of that, all that good stuff, right? So check this out. We do get 1536 watt hours now, so that's a big bump. And in fact, you know, at the end of this video, I'll kind of make a chart, and I'll have a chart that compares all the specs between this F1500, the F1200, and I'm even going to throw in the, C, the new C1000, right? Because it's similar product as well and that's a new model from anchor as well so you know it's be interesting to kind of compare those three and actually i was surprised to see that they are updating this f1200 this 757 model since they just came out with that c1000 right so but there is there is kind of a big difference um there's there's kind of a reason you might want to go for one or the other so we will get to that with you know let's we'll get to that and so all the ports, you know, as I mentioned, it's the same case. So all the ports are the same. It's just the specs are a little bit different. For the inverter here, 1800 watts continuous now, right? So the old model was 1500 watts. And the thing is that they do mention though, is that the surge is pretty much the same. So they haven't really bumped up the surge, but still, you know, being able to do 1800 watts continuous, that's all you're gonna really need. But it's one thing to note, you know, if you do have something that you know might have a, a really large surge, like maybe like a real big air compressor or something, it still might not work on this unit. You might have to jump up to anchors, uh, the F2000 or the F2600, I think is the new version of that one. We will be taking a look at that. And then so, you know, all the other ports are the same. We still get the same USB, the same 12 volt. And then for the charging, it's actually, it's kind of a similar story. So, well, the charging was, it was really good anyway, so it's not really a bad thing, but yeah, it's still using that hyper flash technology and it's still charging up to a thousand watts, you know, from the wall. And then is there adjustable speed with that? I think there is. I think there is because guess what? This unit does get an app now and it is Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So, you know, whichever one you want to use, you know, you can use that. And this is obviously a big improvement, especially if you like using these apps because the old model, you couldn't use the app. Now for the solar, this is probably the thing you've been waiting for me to talk about because the old model, this, that was really the most disappointing part of it. Um, in fact, let's just kind of jump over there and talk about it here real quick, just to kind of do a recap. So, so you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Basically this thing, it could only do up to 300 Watts. And I mean, that's like 300 Watts. And the reason I say that is because it was only up to 30 volts and you could only do 10 amps, right? So unless you had some kind of like miracle 30 volt solar panels, you were never going to hit 300 watts, right? You were going to hit like 200, 210 watts, right? Because most solar panels were going to be somewhere around, you know, 20 to 22 volts, right? And if you only had 10 amps, you multiply that, you know, you're going to get, you know, around 200 watts, right? So it was very limited on solar and, you know, it was just something that pretty much everybody complained about. So guess what? Guess what? We do get a big improvement here. And so the actual cap now is 600 watts, right? So that's a big improvement. And then the voltage range as well. Now we actually get up to 60 volts okay so now the thing is that i gotta say is i couldn't find anywhere in this listing or even on their website how many amps you know so it's probably 10 or 15 amps let's hope it's 15 amps because that's actually it, you know that's what the c1000 can do so let's just hope they're using the same charge controller right 
So if this thing can do 15 amps, that would be spectacular. Um, but even so, you know, even if it was only 10 amps, because you got more voltage to work with, right? If you, you can either use like the, the anchor solar panels, actually are higher voltage solar panels, or somewhere around 40 volts, or you just have those normal solar panels that are around 20 volts, as I mentioned, you could hook those up in series, right? If you can get the solar, you know, the panels that you're using somewhere around 40 volts, 50 volts, right? And even if it was only 10 amps, you'd, you can multiply that by 10, you'd still be getting four to 500 watts, right? But if it's 15 amps, you know, you can just, you'll be able to hit the 600 watts, you could do it. Now to talk about the design here, we actually do get a slight change, right? I mean, it's the same exact product, same case. It's a color change and it actually looks quite nice. I mean, the old model looked great as well. In fact, this power station I think is probably my favorite design for any power station out there. I mean, it's just excellent. The, the attention, the detail, right? The, the blue cooling vents that we have here. Just look at this case design. Look at, look at how the edge kind of wraps around. It flares out to kind of mimic the way the handle sticks at the top, right? And even how the handles connect up here, right? We get this like X pattern, you know, connecting the two handles. We get this little anchor play icon that they've kind of thrown in there just for fun. And then of course we get the screen, which was just excellent. So not only just giving you all the information that you want, right? The input, output, time remaining, the percentage right here in the middle, very large, very easy to read. So if you're not using the app, you know, I just, I love to, I, I love these large numbers that you can see from across the room, right? So you just glance at it, you know where it's at. If you're not using the app, right? I mean, of course with this new model, you can use the app. And then just this, the energy bar display, how it kind of has this like three dimensional effect to it, right? It's just something very unusual, something that nobody else is doing. And it just, again, it just complements the rest of this design. And so now let's just talk about the weight. So this is kind of an interesting thing to talk about because, you know, as I mentioned, the specs across the board here are just a lot better, right? We get more capacity, larger inverter, uh, more solar capability, right? And it's basically the same weight. I mean, it, it, they claim it's about one pound more than the old model. Now, the thing is to note about this, whether you, you're going to go F1200 or the F, this new F1500, is they're pretty heavy, really. I mean, compared to the competition, they're just, they're pretty heavy. So the old one was about 42 pounds. The new one here that we're taking a look at is about 43 pounds, right? So this is, it's still, I would still consider this portable, but I mean, that's, you know, most people, you're gonna have to really put some effort into lifting these things, right? So th this is where the appeal of that new Anchor C1000 comes into play. That thing's only like 25 pounds. And it still has 1800 watt inverter. It's st the inverter, the, the charging, the, the solar, basically everything but the capacity is about the same as this new unit. And we're talking like, what is that? 17 pounds, something like that, like 17 pounds less. And the capacity is less, but it's still, you know, that one, it's still over a thousand watt hours, right? So it's less, but it's still usable. And so you might be saying, you know, why is it so heavy? <laughs> why is it so heavy? It's because they designed it to have this drop proof design where you can see they've actually got the steel chassis inside. I mean, I mean, look at all this. I mean, this is like, this is incredible. It's very well built, right? So if you drop this thing, it's just going to, you know, it's just going to take that blow, no problem. Whereas the new C1000, you know, I haven't seen the inside of that thing, but I can, at that weight, we can, we can safely assume it's just all plastic, right? So that would be the thing. If you did drop that thing, you would probably crack the case, you know, maybe. Um, but still, you know, you shouldn't be dropping, even with the steel chassis, you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't be dropping these things, right? So, um, you know, just, I would just say, at the end of the day, as much as I love the design of this unit, um, and I do really love it, I would just say, you know, for something that you can get similar specs with, um, that's just a lot lighter, I, I still think I prefer the C1000, to be honest. But, you know, um, if the weight isn't really an issue for you and you do kind of appreciate this attention to detail with the design, with the build quality here, 
you know, and now that we have all the newest tech in this, this model as well, I can still see the appeal with this unit. In fact, you know, I, I still love it. I just, you know, I just wouldn't want to pick it up. Right. So, um, so yeah, so that's just, you know, here's, you know, here's again, the, the chart I was talking about. So yeah, hopefully, um, I, you know, you can pause it. I don't want to have this run too long. So just pause it if you want to look at it. And hopefully you just found this overview helpful, interesting, entertaining. And yeah, thanks for watching.